Let's talk about something that's been a torn in the side of many website owners, that is adding tracking codes on your site. Yeah, I know, those little snippets of code that make your eyes glaze over just thinking about them. For some of us, it's like trying to decipher an ancient manuscript sometimes. And let's face it, not all of us are coding wizards or tech geniuses. So, fear not, because today I'm going to show you something that's going to make your life a whole lot easier. It's an all-in-one solution for those non-tech savvy folks who just want to connect the sites with the different platforms without any hassle. So, if you're interested, then let's jump in. The plugin I'm going to use for all this is called Pixel Manager for WooCommerce. This one here. It has a free version, the one you see on the screen. Currently, it has more than 50,000 active installations. As you see, really good ratings. It has a free version and it has a pro version. If you scroll down, then you'll see what are the free features. You can connect your site with Google Ads, Analytics, Facebook Pixel, Hotjar, and so on. If you would like to connect your site with LinkedIn, Microsoft Ads, Pinterest Ads, Reddit Ads, Snapchat Ads, then those are the premium pixels. Also, there are some other premium features. For example, automatic conversion recovery, advanced order duplication prevention, Google Ads enhanced conversions, Google Ads conversion adjustments, scroll tracking, and so on. So take a look at it. If you would like to purchase a premium version, then those are the current prices. That is, for one site, it's $19 per month. For five sites, it's $75 per month. There are also annual plans, and those are the current plans. Those are the official prices, but if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 10% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link, use a coupon, and enjoy the discounted price. In this video, I'm going to use a pro version so you can see what are the main features here. All right, now that we've got the money talk out of the way, it's time to roll up our sleeves and dive into the juicy stuff, that is the plugin settings and features. I'm going to take you by the hand and walk you through how to connect your site with some heavy hitters in the online world. And I'm talking about linking up with the big guns here, that is Google, Facebook, Watchar, and so on. So grab a pen, Maybe a snack, I won't judge if you do that. And let's uh, get down to the business. And hey, if you find this video helpful, then don't forget to smash that like button down below here. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's take a closer look. I already installed the plugin, but if you don't know how to do that, then go to plugins, add new plugin, upload the plugin, choose a file and click on install now button and then activate it. After that, go to the WooCommerce, and there is a Pixel Manager menu down below here. Now, let's see how to connect your site with different service providers. For example, let's connect your site with Google Ads. And in order to do that, we need to get a Google Ads conversion ID. So, go to your Google Ads account, go to the Goals, open up Summary, and now click on New Conversion Action button. Select the website. Add your domain, and now click on Scan. If this is done, scroll down. You can skip the Create Conversion Action from Web and App Events part. Scroll down and click on Add a Conversion Action manually. Now choose a category. For my site, it's Purchase, but you can choose whether it's Add to Cart, Begin Checkout, or whatever it is. I'm going to choose Purchase. I'm going to give it a conversion name, for example, Purchase. Now I can choose whether the value is the same for each conversion or it's a different for each conversion. I'm going to choose different. I'm going to add zero here and I'm going to count every conversion. You can also choose whether it's one conversion, but I'm going to track every conversion. Now pay attention that I'm going to set the attribution to data driven. And next I'm going to click on done. Now click on Agree and Continue. You'll see that our conversion action has been created. We need to get a conversion ID number and the conversion label. So go to Use Google Tag Manager. Here's your conversion ID. Let's copy it, paste it here. Let's grab this label. Also copy and paste it here. 
scroll down, save changes, and you successfully activated your Google Ads conversion ID. Now let's connect the Facebook Pixel. I'm not going to show you how to create the Pixel because hopefully you already have it. But I'm going to show you how to get the Pixel ID number. So go to your Meta account, open up Events Manager, and there is a data sources here. Open this one up, open up the Pixel you would like to use. And under the settings, you'll see the data set ID. Just copy it and paste it here. Now, in order to keep it short, I'm not going to show you how to connect all sorts of platforms like LinkedIn and so on. But if you need to do that, then as you see, there is a nice information icon here. If you click on it, it opens up the documentation. Just follow the documentation and you can connect the ones you would like to connect here. As you see, LinkedIn, Microsoft Ads, Pinterest, Reddit, Snapchat, Taboola, TikTok, Twitter, Pixel IDs. Save changes. And now let's go to the statistics. I'm going to connect my site with Google Analytics 4 and Hotjar. Let's start with Google Analytics. I'm going to open it up. Choose admin. Next, I'm going to choose data streams. Open up it here. And there is a measurement ID. I'm going to copy it and paste it here. And if I save it, then you'll see that it's activated. Now, I need a hot jar site ID. If you don't know what the hot jar is, then the hot jar allows you to track the user behavior on your site. So let's sign in. And you'll see this is the information from my site. Top click buttons, top pages. I can see the recordings. For example, if I click on the view recordings button and play here, then it shows me the recording of the site browsing, what has been done on the site, and so on. Now, I need a Hotjar site ID, so I'm going to open up organization settings. There is a organization data here, view tracking code, and the site ID is this one here. I'm going to copy it, paste it here, save changes, and done. Now, just to test whether my site is connected to all this, there are some ways how to do that. The easiest one is to open up the view page source. Let's search for analytics. This one here is my Google Analytics code. Let's search for Hotjar. This is my Hotjar tracking code. Let's search for Pixel. And you'll see this is my Facebook Pixel here. Awesome. If this is too technical for you, then there are a bunch of Chrome extensions you can use. For example, MetaPixel Helper allows you to see whether the pixel has been installed and works as needed. It sits up here. If I open it up, it says that one pixel found, page view, setup method, all the information is here. Easy peasy. Okay. There is also under the optimization, there is a Google Optimize. But as far as I know, this has been discontinued last year, so I'm going to skip this part. Under the advanced, you can choose whether to disable tracking for specific user roles. I'm going to disable it for administrator. That is, I'm going to disable it for myself. Next one is scroll tracker. And this is a pro feature. And the scroll tracker dispatches a scroll event when a certain scroll depth in percent is reached. So... If you would like to set it up, then pay attention that the scroll depth threshold setting is comma separated list. For example, let's add 25, comma, 50, comma, 75, comma, and 100, comma. Now, if I save it, then the scroll depth is automatically sent to the Google Analytics as a custom event with the name scroll. Also, the value of the scroll depth has been added to it. This way you can track how much your user are scrolling on the page. Next one is Lazy Load Pixel Manager. If you enable this, then it will give you a better page speed scores. I would recommend to enable the maximum compatibility mode. If it's done, then let's save it and move to the shop part. You can set up the marketing value logic here, whether it's order subtotal without tax, shipping and so on. Or its order total includes tax and shipping. Choose the one you like the most. 
if you would like to prevent uh, all the duplication, then select this one here. If you would like to display the related information on the order list page, then select this one here. There is also a lifetime value calculation. It's currently beta. If you would like to test it, then choose this one here. Under the Google, you can set up the conversion card data, but in order to do that, we need an ID for a Google Merchant Center. Log into your Google Merchant Center and pay attention to this part of the URL. This is your ID. So let's copy it, paste it here. Let's save it. And now it says active. Next is uh, Google Analytics 4 property ID. I'm going to show you where you can get this one here. So back to the analytics site, back to the admin. There is a property details. And as you see, there is a property ID here. If you copy it and paste it here, then half of the heavy lifting has been done. You also need a Google Analytics 4 data API credentials. So what should you do in order to get those credentials? You need to go to the Google Analytics API Quick Start page. Click on the Enable the Google Analytics Data API. Give it a name, for example, my site or whatever it is. Now click on Next. And now download this private key as JSON. I'm going to save it to my computer. Back to the Pixel Manager. And now you need to import those credentials. So click on Import Credentials button. Select the file you downloaded. It will be uploaded and done. Next, whether to activate the Google Analytics page load time tracking. You can do it here. You can activate the enhanced linked attribution. You can enable Google user ID and you can also enable Google ads in enhanced conversions. If you would like to activate Google ads phone conversion number, then you can do it here. So what is a phone conversion number? It basically allows you to track calls to a phone number on a website. And it does this automatically swapping the real phone number with a Google number, which will redirect the call to the real phone number. If you would like to know more about it, then take a look at the documentation. So let's save changes and let's take a look at the Facebook part. If you need to activate CAP token, then you can do it here. Once again, open the documentation in order to see how can you do that. There are settings for LinkedIn, Pinterest, Reddit, TikTok, Twitter, and there is also a content manager here. Next, let's open up the dynamic remarketing. I would suggest you to enable the dynamic remarketing audience collections. If you would like to know more about it, then take a look at the documentation or open up this video here. It's nice to have those video tutorials here, so nifty feature. You can set up the product identifier, whether it's post ID, SKU. If you're using WooCommerce Google product feed, then it's an ID from this one here. Whether to enable variations output. And there is also an option for Google Business Vertical. Once again, save changes and done. Next are opportunities. You can see what you can set up here. For example, I can set up the lifetime value calculation. Google Ads conversion adjustments and the CAPI, some diagnostics information and support information. Nothing complicated here, just copying the pasting your pixel and analytics and Google Ads ID numbers and done. Awesome stuff. Now let's take a look at the documentation page. Open up the documentation pixel manager. And I have to say, this is one of the best documentation sites for any plugin I have seen. It's really thorough, contains all sorts of information, not only as a text and image, but also step-by-step -step tutorials, videos, and so on. If you have been following my reviews, then you know that I also like to test the plugin support. So as a test, I have opened up the support ticket and I received an answer within six hours. So it seems to be working also really well. So to sum it up, as you see, 
integrating your site with different marketing platforms or analytics platforms isn't as complicated as one may think. So if you need a simple solution, then Pixel Manager or WooCommerce is a good option. Now, that little snippet was just a taste of how a good plugin can turn your website woes into a website wows. In another video, I've cooked up three sizzling strategies to skyrocket your sales using an advanced sales booster plugin. Yep, you heard that right. We're talking about turbocharging those sales numbers like never before. And guess what? That video is right there on your screen, just waiting for you to hit play. So, don't just sit there twiddling your thumbs. Go ahead, click the click, and let's uh, take your sales game to the next level. In the meantime, take care.